Hi, I'm David Drysdale. I'm the head of Receipt Bank's customer education team based out of our London office. Uh, I'm really excited today to take you through our new sidebar navigation that we've just released. This is the first step of a full redesign of Receipt Bank that you'll be seeing throughout 2020. And while it doesn't come with new features itself, it provides a really strong foundation from which we can deliver them to you, our customers, faster and more effectively than ever before. I'd also like to assure you that this release includes all of the existing functionality you know and love from Receipt Bank. We've listened to our customers' feedback and made all of the key workflows and functions easier to access than they were in the horizontal navigation. With that in mind, by the end of this video, you will be able to access client accounts in the sidebar, uh, if you are a Receipt Bank bookkeeping or accounting partner, that is, uh, and access the associated partner dashboards. You'll also be able to access the costs, sales, experience reports, and bank workspaces in the sidebar. You'll be able to submit items to each of these workspaces and access the old areas of your account settings. These include the lists such as suppliers, categories, and payment methods, your integration settings, account settings, and user settings. I'd also like to point out before we get underway that I will be using a partner account today, but everything is the same on a small business account as well. Okay, so let's dive in. So here I am uh, viewing uh, my uh, account here as, as Lionel's Lemon Farm. As I said, I am logged in as a partner. The first thing I want to show you all is how to access client accounts as a, as a receipt bank partner. So click the new client switcher, which is the client name in the top left of the screen. If I hover over it, a tooltip tells me the client's name. And if I click on it, I can see all the different clients on this account, as well as uh, my practices account. They're the number one accountant. Clicking into any of these clients will take me into, into their account, but I can also click my account. As a partner, I also have access to the client view and practice view dashboards as part of my optimized subscription. And I am taken to this upon logging into my account, but I can also select them from the dashboard section at the top and the client view and the practice view. I can simply click between them. From my practice account, I can also access my client list by scrolling down to the bottom of the sidebar and clicking my clients, which takes me to the full client management list. Let's go back to our client account at uh, Lionel's Lemon Farm. There we go. Okay. So rather than being laid out along a horizontal navigation, all your workspaces are now figured in the sidebar for easy access. If we look along the side there, we have costs, sales, expense reports, and bank. And if I were to click the arrow next to it, I can see the expanded view of the different sections of that workspace. So here with costs, we have the inbox, in processing, to review, ready, and archive. I can see I have to save for sales and expense reports. And we also have the area for my bank statements there as well. Simply click into the name of the workspace to be taken into that generic inbox. The different ways of adding items to each of these workspaces has also been moved within each workspace rather than having a master button at the top of the screen. So here we are in the costs workspace. You can see that I can uh, add costs by clicking the green button here. Clicking that will take me through to the add items page for my cost items where you see I have the upload, email and app options. And I also have another option labeled other. Uh, which includes all the different ways that we can connect to third-party pieces of software. With the new navigation, these have been moved to a connection setting, which we will come to in uh, a little bit. If we just go back to the inbox there, any additional features that you have on the inbox are now uh, arrayed along the top uh, right-hand side of the inbox, including under this ellipsis menu, where you can see your outstanding paperwork reports and look at the while you're away statistics. Now, in terms of accessing your account settings, what used to be hidden between menus and submenus have been brought to the surface of the sidebar. If we look in the sidebar, we'll see that all the different information that used to be recorded under the maintain list section of your account settings has been brought to the surface of the sidebar under the lists header. You see we have our suppliers and customers, 
And if I click more lists, we can see my categories, projects, bank accounts, and payment methods lists. As I said, these used to be under the maintain lists section. Clicking into each of these allows me to see all the same information I used to. There's my categories, uh, there are my suppliers, uh, and so on meaning that I can easily access all the information required to complete my bookkeeping without having to dive into lots of different menus. The rest of your account settings have similarly been brought to the surface rather than being hidden in different menus. If we look down the side, we have Manage Client here. Again, I am a partner logged in to a client account, but if I were a small business, this would just say Manage. The top is Connections. This maintains all the different ways Receipt Bank connects to third-party pieces of software. This includes your integrations to your accounting software. In this account, we're connected with Xero, but we also have our costs and bank sections. You'll see for our costs here, we have our invoice fetch connections to our different suppliers, and we also have our Dropbox and PayPal submission methods linked here as well. We also have a bank section under connections, which if you have access to uh, bank suppliers or bank feeds, you will see those linked there as well. Profile is all of the details that are associated with you as a user or your account more specifically. You see we have the system settings that are the overall defaults on the account. The account details, including the company name, base currency, and language, and your subscription has also been brought to a brand new uh, area rather than being based in a submenu. As I said, here we are logged in as a partner viewing a client, but as a small business or as a partner firm yourself, you will be able to see your billing and subscription details here. Submission history has also been brought into the profile section. Finally, we have down here users. This replaces the maintain colleagues or maintain uh, users lists that used to be in your account settings. If you are logged into your own account, this will say uh, my team. Clicking that brings you all the information around all the different users on the accounts. You can manage their settings from here as well. Now, at any point, you can minimize the sidebar by clicking Collapse menu in the bottom left of the sidebar to have a full screen view of the uh, screen. But if you need to expand that, you can just hover over it or click the Expand menu to maximize it. If at any time you have more questions about any of the workflows in Receipt Bank or any support questions, you have a new resources menu for you in the top right of the screen. Clicking that will give you access to our help center and to our training resources via your uh, Receipt Bank partner portal if you are a partner with us or via our YouTube page. You also have access as a partner to our Orange Select partner community here and to uh, an understanding of your subscription and certification with us through the partner portal. We're really excited for what our new navigation heralds for Receipt Bank. Uh, we really look forward to sharing new features with you soon. Thank you very much for joining me.